Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nick, and we are here for a quick mini haul from um, Forever 21. When I returned the stuff from the previous haul to the store, I actually went into the store and I saw these cute um, Lucite PVC heels there, and I wanted to try them. So I went online to look those up because they didn't have many sizes in the store. And when I finally looked them up, they were actually on sale. So I ordered those along with like three dresses and one just a tank top or something like that. Yeah, it's a really quick haul. So let's get ready to get into it. We're going to start with the shoes. Okay, guys. So first up, we have this white pointy toe lace up stacked heel. Online, the heel didn't look this tall. Looking at the the um height of the heel and the uh, deepness of the arch, I'm not going to be able to walk in these, so I'm not even going to try them on. Just going to put them in the box and take them right back to the store. Super cute, though. Ordered them in a size seven and a half, and I didn't even realize on the site they look like plain fold leather, but they're actually like a crock. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you see it. It's like a crock look to it. But it's super cute though for somebody that could like possibly walk in the heel like this. I don't think I, I'm going to be able to walk in it. It's giving the same steepness as the heels from the previous haul. Okay guys, so the lace up slash ankle tie crock front heels, as I said, it was too steep for me. I'm barely being able to stand in them. The strap across the toes are digging into my skin. These are them in a seven and a half. The shoe is called Gina, J-E-N-A. And this is the white color. I think they came in white and black, but yeah, definitely not keeping these. Definitely taking them back because they hurting my toe. This left shoe is digging into the top of my baby toe. So let me take these off before they get scuffed up or anything. And they say they can't take them back. But they definitely unknown. I just want to take a moment, y'all. I just want to take a moment and shout out to them for packaging it in such a small, petite little box. Other brands I buy. The boxes have all this gaps in space. It's like it's unnecessary for the box to be that big. But let's get to the next thing. Okay, next up is the actual shoe I saw in store that I liked. That they only had in a size, I think it was a size 6 or a 6 and a half. It's this PVC shoe with the strap across the toes and a cute little ankle strap. Um, They have a platform in the front. And the heel thing is not that deep, so I might be able to walk in it. They remind me of a pair of shoes I had from Steve Madden. I think they was called Glossy. Um, I actually bought them and loved them so much. They was like the pink, nudish color. But I can barely walk in them because of the angle of the arch in the foot. And now that I think about it, I wonder if I had sized up to a larger size. Would it have made a difference in the way I walked in the shoe? But the reason I ordered this, I already have other shoes that have PVC and loose at heel. But I wanted to order these because none of mine, um, I don't have one that's ankle strapped around my ankles with a pointy toe. So that's what made me want to order these. And I ordered them in a seven and a half and an eight to be sure. And prayerfully, I can walk in these because I might be wearing them to a party soon. Alright y'all, so this is the seven and a half in the clear shoe. You can see that it has a little string on it to keep both shoes together. As you can also see, look at the front. My foot is sliding straight through to the top of the shoe. Now, I do believe the seven and a half is my correct size. So, they would be perfect if my foot was sliding straight to the front. I wonder if putting the um an insole in them will keep my feet from sliding because honestly they are cool to walk in. I'm not having that hard of a time walking in them or standing. But it's gonna be the these toes 
slide on to the top of the shoe like this. Super cute though. And just an FYI, somebody was talking about how terrible the heels at Shein are, how they they not stable at all. And I did try some that felt stable when I tried them on in the house. But for as far as the 521 heels, I can say I bought some high heel boots from there before and they were so comfortable to walk in versus a pair of Steve Madden boots that I had that were made exactly the same. So I say get you some 521 heels if you can. But I like these. I think I'm going to keep them. Just going because they was cheap. They probably was less than $20. So I'll keep them and just um, put it uh, this on them. So my feet can stop sliding to the front. Or should I have gotten a size 7? What y'all think? My foot is just a slide. Just slide. I like these though. And the strap not really hurting. It's just hurting because my foot slides so bad. But they are a look. They are definitely a look. And this is how they would look if my feet weren't sliding. This is how they would look on the front. But once you put all your weight up there, your feet just slides on the hood. Okay, y'all. So, what's up? The first clothing item is this peachy colored, uh, I would say knit material, almost like a sweater material, tank that I ordered. You can see it. Please excuse my bra print showing. But I ordered it in a 3X. This is how it looks on me. Okay. All right. Okay, y'all, so next up is this dress. I don't know if it was a, I don't remember if it was a mini dress or not, but it's coming um, past my knees, as you can see. I didn't realize when I ordered it, this dress was like a sweater type of material. It's like the same material as a tank top. Um, and it's showing everything. I ordered it in the 3X, by the way. This dress gonna be a no. I can't. <laughs> Hopefully I can return it. I hope it wasn't final sale. Okay guys, it's the same dress but in green. I don't know if I mentioned button up, collared, neckline, short sleeve. Same exact dress but in like a sage green. Same dress, sage green. Yeah. It's going to be a no. I think this dress was maybe only 7 or $8, though. But, uh -uh. I don't like the way it's looking on my body type. All right, one more thing. So, lastly, we have this printed... I don't know if I said sprinted or printed, but a printed satin goddess fit dress. I didn't adjust the straps. They can be adjusted to fit me here. But I ordered this in a 3X, and I was hoping, hoping, hoping that this dress would fit me just in case I needed it for a party that's coming up very soon. Um, It has a slit here on the side. It's supposed to be midi, but of course, it's almost, almost all the way down to the top of my shin. Um, it's longer on me up versus what it is on a taller person because I'm only 5'1". But I think it fits good. It's not clinging anywhere. I think the print is okay. 
please excuse the bra. And I can probably, I mean, I have plain black heels, but I also could probably wear them with some of them, um, if those clear shoes, if those clear shoes that I showed y'all at the beginning, if I could walk, if they fit and I can walk in them, I could possibly wear them with this. I think this is real cute. I mean, I could wear the clear shoes. I have other heels that I could possibly wear with this that I've had already for a, a long time and I just never wore them, you know. But, yeah, I really, really, I really like this. This is cute. What y'all think? Put my little slit here and it's not fitting too tight or whatever. And then when I put some shapewear on, I won't be jiggling, baby. For all those, for that one, not all of those, but it's this one lady that was always commenting. You need to try it on with shapewear. You need shapewear for that. Like, ma'am, this is a first impressions, straight out the box try on. I'm not wearing shapewear for that. I just take it out the box, try it on, get the first impression, and fix, figure out if I want to keep it at all or not before I go through that whole thing of putting on shapewear to try on this stuff. Especially when it's a quick haul like this one. You know what I'm saying? But all right, y'all. That went on a little long. Oops. Sorry. All right, y'all. That concludes this Forever 21 Curve Haul. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please get in the comments. Let me know what y'all like best. What your thoughts were. Also, as soon as you click on the video, please hit that like button. Please. I need to get my likes up. I need my channel to grow. Um, there's been It's been stagnant. Actually, it hasn't been stagnant. I've been losing um, some subscribers over the last couple um, weeks or so. So, um... I don't know if it's because I'm not putting con enough content out um, or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the algorithm and they aren't suggesting me to anyone. I have no idea, but help your girl grow her channel and click the like button. And also be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Especially if you're somebody who's shaped similarly to me. Then you know, busty, stomach, high shelf booty, but it's a little, ain't no little, it's flat. You know, if you shape similar to me and you carry weight here and you want to see stuff on someone else before you order it, you know, subscribe to my channel, check me out, and give me your thoughts and opinions if, you know, and also advice on what you look for when you order and stuff, if we're shaped similar, because you might be doing something that I'm not doing or considering something that I'm not considering. You know what I'm saying? We can help each other. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and again, get down in the comments and let me know some things, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.